Hey folks, I'm Julianne here, Scotland's premier bearded drag queen, and I'm here with Stand Together, Glam Together to show you how I get some of my signature glam drag looks. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my tips and tricks and my favourite products, what gets me from bald bloke to bearded bombshell, and you can follow along with me as well. And make sure to donate up in the link in the bio to support both the British Red Cross and the hair and beauty charity, two great charities to support our local community. It's so important right now to even donate just a little bit, even if it's just a pound, five pounds, whatever it can be. And if you can't donate, please make sure to share as well. So then we can get the word out to all of our followers, all of our friends, and all of our family. Also, if you donate, there's some lovely, wonderful prizes to grab. I have previously filmed a graphic liner look, so a little bit different from this but still very glam, very high drag, but also very creative. Something totally different. So I hope you all enjoy. And without further ado, let's get on into the tutorial. Uh, I have primed with a moisturizer as well as a Hydra Matte Primer from Revolution Pro. Now, unlike other queens, I do not have friends. I shave them off because I am what? Lazy. So thankfully we're up to that stage. However, if you do have to that stage, there are many gluing tutorials. Now I go in with several Krylon TV paint sticks and I'm going in with shade EF22. You know what? It's not really my colour. But who cares? Then we're going in with cream highlight. Now we're going to go in with contour shade and if you're a little bit more full of the challenge around your chin, you would contour around the chin. If you're full of the challenge like I am on the top of my head, you can put a little wig cap on to kind of see kind of roughly where the wig will sit. So then you can kind of contour around that so you're not doing too high, but I kind of just wing it at this point because I've done it many times now already. And then we're going to set it with the translucent powder that I have from Krylon. Then I take my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, which you can see is dirty as hell. And I take a sweep at the bottom two rows and I pop a card just here. Trying to catch the top of my ear and then the corner of my lip. The goal is to make the head shrink as much as possible. And then we're going to go in with a highlight. So the same cream colour that we used earlier underneath the cheeks here. Now you can do this at the end or you can do it now, but I'm going to colour my beard in with a coloured hair wax. I get this daily care hair colouring material from Amazon got them in all different colours like blue, pink, I've got my black one today, purple, but we're just tear finger on and put it into a beard and moustache. Then I take a really dirty comb that I always use to brush through my beard. This comb that colour through. And then we're going to set up some powder as well. Now we 
need to get his nose a little bit more smashed. So I'm going to take my Revolution Rock Source palette and I go in kind of light with this brown shade here. Now that you can see that, here first. And I find where I want the peak of my nose to be. So hit it pretty high. Then we're going to draw lines up. I'm going to connect it to where I want it in my eye first. So I dip just a little in the corner is where I want them to end. And then connect it with the tip of my nose. And creates a pretty wide bridge that I kind of want to blend the brown up into to kind of make it look more pinched. And ideally straight, which is not looking very much at the moment. And I'm going to take my white TV paint stick and clean up the edges of that. To hopefully make it look nice and straight. And then we're going to set that with a white powder from Revolution and Baking Powder. Now we're going to work with, I think, something that most people have, or at least have a version of, which is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Tahiti Love Tahiti Carnival 3 palette. And we're going to be wearing this little mesh number that I made with a little bit of embellishment. And I think we're going to go, we're going to go ham with the red on the eyes and go for maybe like kind of like a graphic liner look, kind of like the Lauren Lee's um, next tutorials had one once as well um, and we're going to go in with these like now red shades here even up a little bit of purple you know have a little fun with it but first eyebrows so take the color black beach and kind of start a little higher of my brows than we're normal so my brow starts here we're going to go a little bit higher And my guide normally is, is nostrils for the star, then your pupil or the arch, and then I twist and match up with my nostril and the edge of my eye for the tail of the brow. Then I take the SS from when I did my cream and on the Beauty Blender I just blend it into the brow instead of like blending all sorts of different shades for my brow. Boom. Blended. And then to make the tails look super black I'm going to use what I use for my eyeliner as my NYX Epic Ink Liner. Mm. And fill in the ends. Now we're going to clean up underneath that. Now I find the white for my TV paint sticks that I use doesn't get quite white enough that I personally like. So from Krylon they also have these HD cream liners and it literally sits on top of anything. Um, that should be a bit of a nightmare to take off at the end but right now we're getting to the moment. <laughs> so I take that on a brush that it cleans it up like nobody's business. And of course set again with the white. Okay, so we're just going to start the cut crease, go fairly standard. Primarily working with the shade Chili Pepper, we're going to blaze 
uh, to blend that out a little bit as well as a bit of hibiscus and then blackberry to deepen it up as well. And some black beach to really darken what will be the crease. And then I'm going to cut it with my base foundation from Krylon. I'm going to take some of that red and blend it in. <laughs> and I'm going to take the shade Rose Pink, the metallic shade, glitter, and put that on the rest of the lid. Then we're going to do our epic ink liner from NYX and do our liner. Sorry, I had to super concentrate there with all this detailed work. But now we're doing with a bit of blush because I'm normally in front of like lights, especially on stage when I'm filming YouTube videos or doing my photography for my Instagram. I have all these big bright lights in front of me and it tends to blush me out a lot. So I tend to go for more of an orange blush. So you can go in literally these shades, then go and sun down. Yeah, they're bright orange, um, and that's why I go for as a blush. I did tap off a little bit, and then slowly build up. And then the highlight that I use is also from the Be Perfect Safety Marie set, and it's the Get Wet In, Do You, you Get a Champagne, gold colour, I just use my finger, rub it in, and then pop it on. So I've got a couple of things left to do. So I just want to finish off my nose and give it some highlights. So I take a little pencil, fine light brush, with my HD cream liner from Krylon and then I put a little tip at the end of my nose and then whatever is excess I do a little line I've got these Revolution Pro liquid lip sticks that I use instead of lip liners which you can use um, but I just prefer just going straight in with one of these Cute, but my beard, since I paired it, was looking a little faint. So we have to go back in on clean that, clean it up, darken it up. And then, since we've got all this lovely detail up in our eyes, we might just as well extend the mustache and do something just as unusual and different. So I'm gonna kind of pencil it out with my brush. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take my liner. Now for setting spray, I use Cryo Fixing Spray because it will make my makeup stay. All day, literally performing. This is the Dynamite Gold. A little bit pricey compared to like some other kind of setting spray, but this fixes it to your face. So that is it for the makeup. Let's jump into a look so you can get the full reveal. So this is the final look with the whole geish on and doesn't it just look fabulous? Drag can literally be anything, it doesn't have to be the same cookie cutter kind of style that you always get. You can still do a cut crease but still make it something new, something fabulous, something different and I definitely think we have achieved that today. If you want to check out more of me you can find me at Julianne here on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the good social media places and make sure to keep on donating to the link in the bio for stand together glam together instagram page check it out donate it goes to both the hair and beauty charity it goes to british red cross supporting our local communities donate just as much as you can even if it's just a pound five pounds whatever it is share it as well there are prizes up for grabs as well so get donating get sharing and we'll see you all again soon